What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. And happy Colonizers Independence Day to you all. I hope you all are doing well, enjoying yourselves, being safe out there, you know, taking the necessary precautions so that you don't end up another statistic in the growing number of COVID-19 cases. And hopefully your loved ones are doing the same. But I wanted to come through and talk about a quote that Russell Simmons made in regards, he made this very recently, in regards to the kind of like the whole social justice, police brutality, protesting, Black Lives Matter atmosphere that we're in at the moment, right? So just in case you can't read the title of the video, it says, you know, Russell Simmons was quoted as saying, I don't think any celebrity owes anyone anything all right and i'm going to read through an article that kind of explores this more in depth and also gets more um, commentary from russell simmons in regards to this quote and as well i'm going to give my commentary about this situation as well as i read um, but before i get into the article i just want to show you guys uh, this commercial that uh, both Russell Simmons and Jay Z did, you know, years ago. It was a PSA um, in regards to anti Semitism and them speaking out about anti Semitism. So I'm going to show you guys this commercial and then I'm going to continue um, and start reading the article. What's hot? Respect for people. What's not hot is hating people because of their color or religion. What's not cool is anti-Semitism. It's a long word for racism. Anti-Semitism and racism are the same thing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Speak out against anything racist, any kind of bigotry, the minute you hear it. Let's fight all types of racism and anti-Semitism together. Don't be silent. Remember, we are one, one voice. All right, so that is the commercial, right? So, you know, with all that being said and done, let's get into this article. <clears throat> yeah. So, Russell Simmons has responded to CNN presenter Don Lemon calling celebrities for their silence, stating that he doesn't think celebrities owe anyone anything. And I find this a bit strange because... Don Lemon didn't call Russell Simmons out specifically, nor did he call out um, Dave Chappelle. Because Dave Chappelle also um, commented on what Don Lemon said as well in his comedy special titled 8 Minutes and 46 Seconds. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, I do find it a bit strange, but as we all know, a hit dog will holler. All right. So, Don Lemon urged celebrities to speak out against injustice, calling Hollywood strangely, strangely quiet. So, Russell Simmons addressed Don Lemon's comments with Hip Hop DX. And Russell says, quote unquote, I agree with Don Lemon, and he inspires me to do more. I don't think any celebrity owes anyone anything. I don't think anyone owes social activism to their community. At the same time, I'm absolutely sure that their own happiness and salvation are directly related to happiness and salvation. You promote for others. Therefore, I am committed to doing everything I can. So, <clears throat> Russell Simmons, he's saying that Several these celebrities out here that don't owe any activism to you, and this is the best. This is especially a bit strange, considering the times that we're in at the moment. You know, the atmosphere that we're in, as well. You know, Russell Simmons being black himself. You know, and also, like, wasn't it not too long ago that 
many black people, especially black men, were speaking up on your behalf in regards to you feeling as if you were being targeted by Oprah and perhaps the Me Too movement. I didn't really hear any of that while you were riding that wave, right? While people were coming up and speaking out in your defense. So I, I find that a bit strange. And I did a video about that situation um, back when it happened. I believe it happened sometime in December um, of last year. And I kind of spoke on Russell Simmons' behalf and also Oprah's behalf. And, you know, kind of was trying to do it a bit more, you know, quote unquote, fair and balanced, you know, ish. <clears throat> right. So Russell goes on to say, quote unquote, I feel personally responsible to the community and I feel that my voice in my Twitter and my Instagram followers are from the people. They are not mine. And I should give them messages that elevate them. I feel like this. They all did not. They get their followers that way they are receiving their followers, some for nudity, others for being famous for being famous. They all have a different relationship with their community. I feel that the followers that I have expected from me inspire and elevate the statements because that is what I try to do. Yeah, and I think this website need to kind of do a little bit of a poof proofreading spell check in here <clears throat> alright um, but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much the article It's pretty, pretty straight to the point you know <clears throat> so you know Russell saying that you know some folks it's just different because their followers perhaps just don't you know really care to hear them speaking about things that deal with like social justice activism perhaps and ultimately, I just think that this isn't the time to be saying something like this and to be quoted as saying something like this. Um, I do think that right now, especially right now, um, I think that celebrities, if you care, I think you should speak out. Now, if you don't care, then don't come through and just be kind of like doing things for clout. You know, and doing things just for, you know, a little Instagram moment, a little selfie on Instagram, you know, and coming through and be like, oh, I'm so woke. I posted a black picture on Blackout Tuesday. I'm so woke. I'm so woke. <clears throat> Y'all can't take that away from me. I'm so woke. I'm down for the people. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want anything like that. But <clears throat> I think if you do feel some type of a way, you should speak out about it and I don't think it's completely out of the blue and unreasonable to be asking celebrities with platforms to speak out especially black celebrities with platforms to speak out about you know social injustice that affects the everyday black person especially as well as just black people in general because a lot of these black celebrities in the industry has been speaking out about their experiences with racism within their industry right <clears throat> and people the black folks on main street have been supportive of that um a lot of times right but i do notice that with some of these celebrities in the industry that you know low-key many of them are speaking out for their own good you know, they're speaking out for themselves and, you know, they're self-advocating, you know, self-advocacy, self you know, and you got to watch that too, where it's like, oh, you know, they'll come through and kind of low-key ride the wave, you know, and act like they're so down for black folks, but they're only down for like, not all black folks in general, but just a specific segment of black folks, perhaps, and just really down for themselves and advancing their own career as pretty much that. You know, say like a Michael B. Jordan, you know, perhaps a Viola Davis, you know. 
and a lot of these other celebrities that have been speaking out, uh, particularly black celebrities that have been speaking out, you know, who are in the industry and speaking out about their experience in the industry with racism, etc. You know, you know, please be aware of these celebrities, especially these black celebrities who are very self-serving. Please be aware of them. Don't let them use you to advance their own careers or, you know, to fight their racism battles for them. And then when it comes time for them to help you with your particular racism battles, they MIA. They ain't nowhere to be found. <clears throat> are either, and if you do find them, then they're talking about, oh, well, you know, we got bigger issues to deal with at the moment. Oh, you know, I don't really want to talk about racism all the time. Oh, you know, we all bleed red. You know, we're all one race of people. You know, stop with the racism and the division. Stop it. You know, you don't want to you don't want to go through that shit, all right? <clears throat> so, for the people out there, you know, please be aware. Like, these celebrity boule, bourgeoisie, upper class, whatever, sometimes, many times, they'll just use the pro-black movement and ride it until they get what they want. Then they'll hop off the movement and keep... You know, keep it pushing. And the same with, you know, non-black people as well. They're doing the same thing. They'll ride the wave until they get what they want, and then they'll jump off the wave. You know? They're not going to ride the wave all the way until, like, you know, all black people are benefiting. You know? <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not going to happen. And even within the community, it's some people, like, say, Let's keep it real, like many black men who will just ride the wave until, oh, you know, the black men problems are done. Oh, time for me to get off the wave. <laughs> While, you know, we still got, you know, the black women problems to deal with. Like, uh, well, you know, we got bigger issues to worry about right now. You know, <clears throat> you know we don't have time. We, you know, we're under attack right now. You know, our unemployment rate is sky high. You know, the... Is the school, the, the pipeline, you know, school, the pipeline, jail sentence shit. <laughs> you know, you know, <clears throat> you know, the school, the prison pipeline, <laughs> right? And, you know, those are serious issues, definitely. But it's like, you know, the black women be supporting and supporting and supporting. And then it's like, mm, you know, I'm, you know. They be wondering when the support gonna pay off, but you know, that's what you gotta realize. You know, it's just like you gotta realize when people are truly for you and when they're not for you, but they're posturing themselves as being for you. So Ultimately, I just don't think Russell Simmons should have made this comment. I just don't think this is a good comment to have on the record. And, you know, sometimes comments can be taken out of context and misconstrued. And, you know, but was this really taken out of context? Was this really misconstrued? You know, uh, who knows, right? But, you know, I don't want to go on for too long. But I just wanted to come through right quick and just, you know, share that with you guys and just see what you guys think about that. Do you think that Russell Simmons has a point? Personally, I ultimately do think he has a point in regards to, you know, ultimately celebrities don't owe anybody social activism or how did he put it? <clears throat> you know, ultimately celebrities don't owe anyone anything per se. You know, but then again, some of these celebrities, like, they eat off of people supporting them, right? You know, these celebrities, they have their platforms and their million-dollar mansions and the money in their bank account because of support from people. And really, I don't really think that, like, people are 
asking a lot to have celebrities speak out about justice and fairness for black people within the legal system. I really don't think that's asking a lot. You know, I don't really don't think that's a big request to make just to be treated justly and fairly. That's not asking a lot, and it's not asking a lot for someone who has a platform to speak out about something like that. But it does show, like, situations like this definitely reveal people's true sentiments, people's true feelings, as well as what side people are really on, you know, <clears throat> when it comes down to it, right? when it really counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really, just like Russell Simmons wants to be treated justly and fairly, perhaps in regards to his, you know, being accused of, you know, some Me Too type, you know, Me Too movement type shit, right? But I'm going to bring this video to a close, so thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.